Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be doing World 8 Difficulty 4. Um, before, on past difficulties of doing this world, this is the team that I used. Um, of course, after Ruan Mei came out, this is the team that I used. Um, Ruan Mei is great for double DPS and I wanted to use Blade and Jing Yuan. However, however, we have a new character that I want to use a little bit more than Jing Yuan. And it's another destruction character too. So that's a dub, right? Um, I think that this right here is a very solid team. Uh, he obviously fits the weakness of a lot of the bosses you can find in this. So we're going to be using him, uh, Don Hong and Bibiter Lune. He's one of the newest, well, he is the newest character on our account. So we're just going to be heading into this and we're going to do destruction because we have de two destruction characters on our team. And we're going to see how this all kind of works out and how it goes. All right. So let's obtain a curio to start off. Uh, is that good? I mean, that's probably pretty good. I don't think my characters are even going to be getting hit that often. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. Ole. No, nobody I have has that, has any of those weaknesses, so. So that's cool. Alright, we're gonna put on our headset here. Ole! Okay. It, it's basically see a destruction, pick a destruction, that's, that's how it's gonna go. I haven't yet been able to see my my Don Hung IL in that one thing that he is really really good at um, in Swarm Disaster, the thing where you have to break all the boxes or, or whatever it is, or maybe hit all the trotters, and I literally just blast this character just blasts through that every half a second. Just blast through the whole thing. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, my Don Hong IL is going to be actually smurfing in here because Blade is very, very skill point efficient. He only uses like one skill point and then he empowers like his next two or three basic attacks. So, hold on, let's, let's read that. How many attacks does he buff? Uh, the skill can't be used, okay, for three turns. Oh, so it's for three full turns. So for three turns, all of Blade's basic attacks, obviously not, come, not, you know, taking any skill points, are enhanced, and he can't even use up skill points after that, because obviously, like, there'd be nothing to use it on. Um, and also, this is a really good thing to get with uh, Don Hong IL because uh, there's a 30% chance to recover, recover a skill point whenever a character provides healing. So that is insanely good. We're just going to go for combats because combats are fun. So, yeah, that's pretty much like all the thinking I had to do there. <clears throat> combats are fun, so let's do them. Oh my. Also, Luocha uh, automatically triggers a heal whenever he has the stacks for it. He automatically triggers a heal on allies that have a threshold of HP. So it does not actually make him spend any skill points to use his heal most of the time. It's crazy. I mean. And then Ruan Mei also, she uses her skill. And then for the next two turns, the whole team gains that buff. So with that being said, uh, this team almost never uses skill points except for Don Hong IL. So it's a pretty good combo for for them, uh, for him specifically. So that's that's what we're all about. He's going to be pumping out big damage. I've been pretty much focusing all my 
resources into him since I got him a few days ago. I posted the video of the pulls for that. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. So funny enough, I've been calling these uh, VODs of like... Hold on. I have to think. Okay, no I don't. I got a distraction. Um... I actually don't want to use this one because I want to keep gaining as much Cosmic Fragments as I can and this will take HP from my allies. So I'm just going to pick this one. Um, I forget what I was saying, whatever. Oh, I've been calling all of my Sim Universe videos VODs. Even- I can't believe I just did that. Even though they're not VODs. Because I wasn't streaming and I'm not taking them from my stream. Which I think is what a VOD is, like by definition. I could be wrong. A VOD could just be like, what is a VOD? Let me look it up. Why would I not look it up? What is a VOD? Video on demand. Oh. Okay. So it's basically just a video. Well, never mind. A lot of people use it to be like, well, here's just a VOD of me playing a whole game of League and giving important information. Holy damage, bro. Um, something like that. Or, this is a VOD from my... I was live streaming, and this is a VOD from my live stream. And that's the kind of context I was, I was talking about it in. Um, but actually, I wasn't live streaming during any of my other Sim Worlds. Um, actually, I... I might have had a few that I was doing uh, back whenever I was streaming on Twitch a little bit a long time ago. Uh, but now I do all my streaming on my YouTube because my shorts are on my YouTube and my videos are on my YouTube and my podcast is on YouTube. I am pretty much doing my entire content creation journey through YouTube. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. I love using YouTube. I feel like it's a very good thing it's a very good uh system very good site i'm happy to be doing it this is a uh, the frontline glamoth i'm pretty sure is a permanent frontline glamoth, whatever that is uh is actually a pretty decent uh set this one is i haven't seen anybody use it yet i don't know if anybody actually uses it but, yikes. Wait, is that good? I think that should be good, right? That looks like it's decent. I usually lock anything that seems decent enough. Right? Actually, the defense one was also probably pretty decent. Um, I'll say the decent one. The defense one was also probably decent enough that it's usable. But, who cares? Uh, do we have almost all destruction blessings? Okay, we only have one not destruction blessing, and it's actually a really good blessing, so I will happily take the deal on enhancing to 180. Hell yeah, and it lands on the legendary. That is so good. That is awesome. Thank you, Herda. We've been getting really lucky on the, on the blessings that we've been getting. Ah! Oh my god. I almost got forced into that battle there. Unfortunately, I didn't get the weakness break somehow. Because one had like uh wind as it's like its first weakness, so I tried to hit it with that. So I tried to hit it with blade. And then that ended up not being case. Or the second one, which is what it did hit. Oh man! Oh! No way! You just used three skill points on that one mob. That was a freak. Yeah, this is the this is the battle I tried to get the blade starting it on. 
He is melting through these dudes. Oh, yep. It's double broken because they're on May. I want to take either of these because they're good, but I want to try and get another destruction one. Is this greedy? Nope, it worked out, so it's not greedy. That's the rules. Them's the rules. And look at that. We got... Oh my god, that goes crazy, too. I should have hit him with ice. I should have switched to Ruan, Ruan May real quick. Yeah, so Luocha has two charges of being able to automatically heal someone when they get low. And it doesn't consume a skill point. Which is why this guy is very, very skill point efficient. Just like Blade and just like Ruan Mei. Which, there's so many characters that are skill point efficient that I have on my account. And that's why my uh, my QQ worked so well already. But now, especially having Don Hung IL, that works out as well. Hold on, don't, don't auto. Okay, okay, okay. He was going to kill it anyway. I really was, I did not want to allow my Don Hung to use three skill points on oh my god this let me see i'm just getting infinite destruction ones i'm not going to use the first one yet cuz i want to keep farming the hell out of these but let's go for an encounter that'll be fun Uh, preservation or nihility. I don't want to get both of them. I want to keep the blessings that are not great to a minimum. That way I don't feel bad whenever I use Herda and I feel like, oh, there's a chance this could go on my awful other thing. Like, what's worse? One that's probably based off of shields that I don't have. Or nihility. I feel like nihility is probably... I have a better chance of getting something decent like... Oh, it just increases my team's break effect. So actually, Ron May just got a buff. Do not be afraid. All will be swept away by the wind. Savor it for me. Receive divinity. The dead return. Break. Pretty big damage for nobody having element uh, for that nobody having that weakness and that's a part of Ruan Mei kind of helping that too oh my god oh my god oh I love this character guys I've been having so much fun with this character I'm so happy I pulled for him I've wanted him since I didn't get him before but like if I did get him before, to be fair, I would have looked like a meta slave. But I I am dead serious when I'm saying I just got him because I find him pretty cool. Ooh, oh yeah, that's okay. This enemy's effect resist by twelve percent. Okay, I don't like these two. They're based off of dot. Um, this one is okay, but I don't have a lot of effects. So we're going to res reset. We're going to hope I don't get anything. There's a 75 percent chance. Okay, no, that applies a dot. Okay, that one's based off of dot. I'm an enemy takes damage from a dot. <laughs> All, right. All right. I guess I just go with that. Is it the only? So I guess I just go with this one. I guess I just go with this one. Because the only one who can even apply a dot on my team is Blade. With if he breaks them specifically. With wind. Okay, we gotta remember to use Ron Maze and Luocha's first. And then I'm pretty sure he has to start it. Like look at this. Isn't this insane traveling? Yeah, I think I think uh, he actually has to start the battle for his to be effective. Oh my god, 411 fucking damage! What just happened, guys? What the hell just happened? Oh! 
This boss is getting its cheek aronies handed to it. Oh my god. Ole. Okay, he's actually taking a decent amount of dot damage because of the nihility thing that I got. I'm pretty sure Blade, but you know, hit him and broke him anyway. Alright, my whole team's about to be full HP when I win this battle, too. Alright. Alright. Cool. Um please. Let's go. Oh, we got a destruction option. Oh my god, we are so happy about that. Okay, this is crazy. Because look at how many cosmic fragments we have. Reducing the fragments required for enhancement and reset and, and resetting down characters, which like resetting down characters is whatever, but for blessing enhancement is crazy. Because we're about to go talk to Herta on in the respite room before we actually start this fight. And that's going to be nuts. Unfortunately, see, this is not good. Because this is based off of... Here's how you can easily cleanse your gear, right? Don't lock something. Don't lock... Lock gear? Okay. As you get gear, lock it if it's good. Now, that doesn't... That's not me, you know, I could do a whole video on... How do you tell if a piece of gear is good? But here's a pretty generalized thing, and this is not true for everything, but you can kind of figure it out um, or watch another person's video or maybe mine if I, if I make a gear cleansing video. But here's a good thing, right? Defense is a very niche stat, let's be honest. Defense is okay as a substat. You would put uh, on, um, on any character. On most DPS characters, you would pretty much always prefer to have like the perfect god piece, attack percent, crit chance, uh, crit damage, and um, speed. Something like that. That is always the dream, right? Or replace one of those with maybe break effect. So that you, so something to help you deal more damage in general, right? And then after that, HP and defense are okay because like, they're like the next best thing because you don't want to get one shot. Flat stats, except for the obvious, speed is not great, right? There's effect, res effect resist. That is okay as well, but that's like a really low tier one as well. That is like below HP percent and defense percent, but uh, still above flat stats, like flat HP or flat defense, okay? So that is a substat guide right there. On top of that, right? So let's just look at the set for this. If you are equipping this on a character and you want to make a set, right? You want to, it's because you want to increase the wearer's attack by 12% based on their speed being either at a 135 breakpoint or 160, right? Uh, the wearer, wait, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Increase the wearer's attack by 12%. When the wearer's speed is equal to, you know, if the wearer has a high speed, so you want to build them speed, so you want to build them good for speed, right? Um, 134 is how you go twice guaranteed, uh, every turn, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, at least in the first turn, I think, maybe. Uh, I don't know, Pokey actually has, it's Pokey has a guide on speed, where it's like, this is the break point to go six times in the first round. It's like, god damn! That's a overreaction, but like, um, yeah. The wearer deals, you know, you deal... You get another damage boost based on you hitting those speed numbers. So on a piece like this, you want speed, but you also want attack because you're equipping it on an attack character. Because the whole set is about dealing damage. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So the main stat being defense percent, what, who are you realistically going to put that on? Because anyone that wants this set is going to prefer that they have attack percent on, on the main stat. Let's be real. It's attack percent or energy regeneration. Those are pretty much the two things. Any any rope that you get that has energy regeneration 
lock it a hundred percent. I don't care if the sub stats are. Some people, those are really, really rare, especially if you're just starting in the game. Beggars can't be choosers, right? And those are pretty much the most versatile, best rope ropes around. So you want those. Um, I, I could do a whole video about this, guys. And I, I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm talking about it a decent amount, I plan on it, right? I'm going to lock this because I think there is a world where if this rolled like four in the speed category, if I lucked out completely, if not, if I, if early into the piece, I'm just getting random stuff like flat HP or effect resist or defense, I'm going to then put that XP into another piece, right? And then basically salvage this piece into that piece. But if I got four upgrades into the speed compartment here, and this, and I attack is the main stat, and the set is all about reaching speed breakpoints to deal more attack damage, that would be crazy, right? That would make that an insane thing. This one right here is just a simple uh, increase the wearer's energy regeneration rate by 5%, increase damage by 10% for all other allies that are the same type as the wearer. So this is a pretty good one for a support. This is a pretty good set for a support. Increases the wearer's regen rate, right? So the whatever character you want to use that's a really good support that wants to use their alt, uh, Ruan Mei, Bronya, Sparkle, uh, Ting Yun, anyone like that, right? Then you also increase the damage by 10% for people that are the same type as the wearer. So this is for like, if you have a Ting... If after Acheron comes out, right? You want to run Acheron... Kafka, Black Swan, and, oh wait, I don't know. Um, let's just say you want to run Acheron, Jingyuan, Tingyun, and any healer, really, because this is about increasing damage, right? So it doesn't matter what, you know, who your healer is. Uh, and you want to give Acheron and Jingyuan 10% more damage because of the same type as you. Because you're Ting Yun, and you also increase your rare regenerate, you also increase your regeneration rate because you want to be able to use your alt more. That is really, really good. This is a really good set for you if you if you're doing something like that. Mono teams will love this. There's the really good quantum mono team. Like if you have a, uh, um, you you would probably think that this is completely broken to put it on Sparkle if you were going to use Sparkle. QQ, Bushwan, and Silverwolf. This is like the most insane set you could think of. This is the most like insane rope sphere set that you could possibly think of for that. Now me, I don't run a lot of quant uh I wanna run a lot of mono teams. I don't even have enough of the characters to run a lot of mono teams. I'm not getting uh adventuring, so that ruins really the only uh, mono team that I could have. Well, actually, I don't at the moment plan on getting adventuring, which would unlock a pretty insane mono imaginary team. Um, wait, no, it wouldn't. That wouldn't because I wouldn't have an imaginary harmony. Man, yeah, I'm not locking that because I don't build that set. <laughs> but I'm just saying, defense would not be bad. HP would not be bad on Tingyun. You, Tingyun is almost a really bad example. Because you would really prefer... This one has two flat stats. This is in the bin. Um, you would almost really prefer to have uh, attack on Tingyun specifically because she is... Hold on. Because she is... Um, she gives attack based off her attack. Okay, so the only way that this would go bad is if um, we land to this Nihility one. So we're going to keep going with it. Let's enhance your random blessing. That is huge. That is huge. Whenever you buy the enhanced two blessings for 180, you got to think about the fact that that is 90 per blessing to upgrade. So less per upgrade than the base value of, than the base price of buffing a A gray like a one star blessing so if you were to roll like that's that's fine too 
if you were to roll getting a buff on a three star blessing that is great or like enhancing your three star blessing that is broke that is value i don't have any blessings i want to really discard that's the thing i'm actually more likely to get i could pull three uh like destruction blessing like there's only like two that i'd one that i'd want to get rid of so i'm not going to take the uh possibility on that uh should we do an encounter let's do a transaction because we have a lot of cosmic fragments let's just see what we're offered here nah nah let's go to respite all right here we are it's time we already enhanced both of our three star blessings which is just crazy um current hp loss i don't even have a lot of hp loss that's the thing blade's really the only one that's doing that so i'm kind of not going for ones that or based off of HP loss. This one's insane. If you have a lot of destruction things, if you have a, at least nine of whatever blessing that you're going, whatever path that you're going, you have nine of those blessings. This is almost a guaranteed one that you want to. You get so much value out of buffing that. Um, it's good to increase max HP. We're going to think about that. Um, see, this is insane. This is insane, especially with having Blade on our team. Character's HP is lower than 50%. See, this one doesn't matter. This one almost doesn't matter, in my opinion. Now, I could be completely proven wrong if we end up biffing it next. I think we have enough to do, like, anything that we'd want to do. This is crazy. So I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that. But I think we need to go for both of these. And then what's this again? Character has deals additional damage equal to four percent of their attack. The attacker. Huh? Character deals additional damage equal to four percent. Oh, after being hit for each stack of fighting spirit, and these are both insanely good for fighting spirit. So this is really good. That is a that is a definite upgrade. And then, yeah. Okay, not this one because we don't have a difference between our max HP and HP. So this is fine. Once we below drop below 50%, we'll gain a shield that'll absorb damage equal to 30% of their max HP. So yeah, this will just prevent us from randomly dying, which I really hope we don't even get moderately close to doing. Oh, I actually pressed on her again. Okay. Are we ready, boys? Are we ready? Blade, kick us off. I have to go let the cat out of my room. Holy damn it! All will be swept away by the wind. The dead return. World cleansing dragon. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh my. Look at Blade's energy being generated as he is taking his turns because he's like, every time he loses HP. <clears throat> every time he takes his turn or Gunching hits him. Oh my god, this guy can't ever play the game when with Ron May on the team. I, if Ruan May, for whatever reason, basic attacks and breaks him, then he's frozen. And then he has two people that can um, imprison him.
Oh my god. Just by attacking, because Luocha puts an AoE buff on everybody. Luocha puts an AoE buff on everybody after he uses his ultimate. That anybody, whenever they attack, they heal the rest of the team when they attack. So, every time an ally attacks, and somebody generates some HP, heals some HP back. I have a 45% chance, right? 45 to recover one skill point. I am basically, like, look at my skill points. All my characters but one are skill point efficient, and I'm just permanently sitting at five skill points until he takes his turn. And then he can just use all of them. So we'll just wait for him to use it. Yep, there we go. Uses all three of them. And it's no problem. Blade can finally use one, that's fine. Oh! Oh, look at that. My blade just got healed to full HP and I gained a skill point for it. This is such insane synergy. And I absolutely love the fact that we got that um, abundance blessing. Because it, it is definitely, even though all my other characters are skill point efficient, it is definitely helping me make it so that this guy never has to worry about not having three skill points to use. He always has the max skill points to use. Oh my! That barely hurt it. Thanks for the energy, though. Oof! Two hundred and two thousand damage from the path. That's pretty good. I think this might. Oh, never mind. Never mind. The dead I was gonna say, I think this might kill, but I think next turn he takes kills. What is he doing? Why is he aiming for the swords, man? You could have killed him. Quit aiming for the swords, guys. You're trolling me. Oh. Practice heal and cleansed him. Oh, now you're dead. Look at that. Well. That is, that was a lot of fun. This was definitely more informative than a lot of my past ones. Look, oh my god, that's so good. Energy regenerate on an energy regen set. Oh my god, plus it has percent attack, percent defense, percent effect hit rate, which is all like decent enough, right? That's, that's decent enough. Um... We got attack and crit damage on this attack based set. Uh, that is good. Depending on, you know, how it puts the points in. On this attack based set, we got ice damage, right? That's good. Attack percent and speed substats. That is good. We're getting a lot of pieces that are actually really good. Um, I just don't think I'm ever going to use this set if I'm being honest. That's my problem with it. That's my problem with it. I don't know. Holy. If a five star imaginary harmony comes out and I can complete Exodia by getting adventuring on a rerun or something, or no, I don't even need him because I have Luocha. This is going to go crazy. All right, I'll put this on, uh, I'll put this on them and then I'll put this on them and then I'll run him with Don Hong, Ayel, Luocha and Dr. Ratio or something. Yeah, that would be crazy. So, oh, now we can get one more even. Nah. Oh, energy regenerate 
Oh, and that's on this set too, a set that I actually can see myself using. The attack set. With speed, crit damage, per percent HP. This, this is an insane that that might be that might be the star of this whole thing. No! I'm I missed <laughs> Whoops. Hold on, I have to look what they have. I have to look at what it is. Like, when am I gonna use the set, bro? That's the problem. If I ever do, there's no option to lock it whenever it's given to me as a first time clearance reward for whatever reason, but whatever. Get all of those back. Yay, SimWorld. Yay, self modeling resin. Let's see if there's anything that we need. Uh, let's look at those other relics, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just think if I ever use the set, it's just gonna I'm just gonna use it this. I'd only use it for like one other person. But I also have this one locked just in case I want to put it on like an attack based character. Attack speed and HP is actually not bad. It's quantum too, and mono quantum teams are possible with Sparkle, who I'm getting. So if I get. This could actually be a decent set on Sparkle if I run her with QQ, get Silver Wolf on the rerun, and then I have Fushuan as well. So I'll have three out of four, right? And then I think Silver Wolf is probably. Um, Is probably Exodia. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say we can lock that one, but it's already locked. No, no, no. Okay, lock these. Okay, that one's double flats. Okay, no. Okay, double flats is not double flats. This one's not bad, but. It is bad because it's defense on an attack set. Like I'm not gonna put anybody I'm not gonna put the set on anybody that I don't want that that I want to have like percent defense. Yeah, I don't know when I'm motivated maybe I'll be motivated tomorrow. I think I'm actually not going to consume all my gear and put it into other gear tonight. And then just go over some of my locked items and some of my unlocked items tomorrow. And then talk about how to do a gear cleanse and talk about that kind of stuff. It won't be released tomorrow. It might be like not, it might be like a week or so even, but yeah. So thank you all for watching everybody. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. This has been a, this has been SimWorld 8 difficulty 4. Uh, this completes our regular SimWorld difficulty sweep. Uh, first time clears. So you enjoyed the video like it if you dislike it dislike it subscribe please subscribe not a lot of people are subscribed and have a absolutely wonderful day